everybody. I am back again with this time a little Goose Creek call, not huge. So I have been saying that I've been wanting to get some of the new uh, Halloween candles that they released. Um, yet again, they made another little Halloween batch and the packaging is just so spooky and just kind of gothic. And it just uh, reminds me of um, the packaging last year from Bath and Body Works. It's like the black and white wraparound and uh, it lights up kind of like in the background. Um, not exactly a full luminary, but it will, you know, shed some light through the plastic um, wraparound and create this kind of, you know, haunting spooky effect. And I just had to get them. So um, I'm a little dusty here. So this one is Cozy Halloween Night. I did not care if it was, you know, a scent or notes that I was going to like or not. And if you could see the little pictures, like the little scream mask in the background and just the jack-o'-lantern. It's so cute. And it says Celebration 31, trick or treat. So I'm sure what the 31 is. Is it 31 for October 31st or Goose Creek has been around for 31 years? I don't think so. Just the plain lid, all fingerprinty. This one's nice. I feel like I smell a little bit like patchouli maybe. But it's not like gourmand or anything. It's kind of like maybe a little spice, but more like patchouli kind of incense type of smell. But it's not bad. I'm usually not a patchouli fan. So I just got that one. And then this wraparound packaging is called Creepy Critters. And it has these like two kind of strange characters wearing their like little masks and everything um with the bats and oh this one no this one's patchouli patchouli definitely oh yeah i don't like that one <laughs> it's very strong um then this one is forbidden elixir the little potion jar oh yeah it smells like fruit punch a little bit of apple but just fruity and smells like something you would drink and then this one is the woods which is that cool little owl kind of like harry potter oh this one's kind of nice it's like maybe it's bergamot something a little bit like lemony green kind of note but yeah that one's good the woods and then I got this Halloween one. Um, and this has the cutout bat, so it is a luminary. It's spiderweb pancakes, and um, it's supposed to be like blackberry and you know sugar and bakery. Oh, it smells good. It's a little bit light on cold, but do get that nice kind of waffle pancake note. And not too, like, maple syrup, which I don't really care for. I don't really get too much blackberry. I get it in the lid, so it might, might must come out when you burn it. So, spider wet pancakes. And then I just picked up a couple other random fall ones. This is colorful leaves. I just love that red wax and the nice little autumn picture. Oh, this one reminds me of Bath and Body Works leaves, yeah. Kind of sweet and apple and just outdoors, fresh air. And I picked up this large jar because of the orange wax and the little picture of the nice decorated front stoop porch with the scarecrow and it's happy autumn. It smells, it smells pumpkin-y, a little spicy, just kind of reminds me of a craft store. But yeah, and I also have another candle in here, but I'm going to leave it in there because it's a gift for my friend's birthday coming up. So yeah, that was pretty much all I got from Goose Creek for this order. I think it was also, uh, I don't know, one of their good sales, of course, $10.99, $11.99 something, and then an extra 20% off, of course. So yeah, brought them all down to like under 10 bucks. So very nice deal, and I had like tons of points racked up. So I managed to get an additional $15 off. I think that's the maximum number amount that you could get off, even though I had even more points than that. So $15 off that as well and free shipping. So it was just 
makes sense to go ahead and shop at Goose Creek. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead. That, that would mean so much to me. My numbers are getting up there. And I'm so excited every time I see a new subscriber. That just, you know, fills my heart. And I am filming a couple of videos today because we're going to be, like, out of town next week. So, yeah, I just want to get some content pre-filmed and ready to go. So thank you guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.